Ronique West. Ronique West. And yes. you said, uh, Ronique, you told me you quit your job on your birthday. Tell I me did. about that. I quit my job on my birthday. So I worked at a company for 15 years, seven different positions. A lot of people say it was very successful across the country. And I just experienced that last year. My daughter, I had a total loss fire. Hmm. My aunt died the next day. Oh, no. I've always been a responsible one in the family. So what ended up Oof. happening was they asked me to like come and try to help with the funeral. And I was like, I'm dealing with a lot. I can't deal with that right now, but I'll come speak, you mm -hmm. know. And then my daughter got sick for the first time ever in life. Um, I was a teen mom. She's my only child. But that time she got sick and she ended up having to get her gallbladder removed. But it oh, took no. them months to figure it out. But during that time, my corporate job was tripping. I have mm -hmm. gave this job like literally my life, guys. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, I got to deal with my life. But after I deal with my life, I'm going to deal with this. Mm. And I knew at that point that that was my last year mm. there. Now, I didn't know that I was going to quit on my birthday. <laughs> it was literally a year, January. I went through a year of like kind of turmoil. And then I experienced some things at the job that was like racism. Like I was the only lead black leader. They didn't invite me to the leadership meeting. Mm. I found out kind of sideways. I was like, okay, what's going on? I also experienced uh, low pay raises. And shouldn't have realized I was getting paid lower than my team that I was the leader of. Oh, my God. So I was just like, okay, I can either sit here and take this or I can take the opportunity to take my life into my own hands. I had mm. already built, I know a lot, you know, certified and payroll, project management, Six Sigma, all these things. I'm like, I got to take the risk. I quit my job, didn't tell anybody. I still had a party that week. Um, I think I told one person. I didn't tell my daughter to a month later because I knew she was going to freak out. <laughs> uh, but ever since then, it's been four years, and I have not stopped. Now I'm the president of the Black Chamber in my area, co-founder of that, R3 Unlimited, which is all about business management, process improvement for small business owners. That's growing. And I still independent contract today because I'm building, right? Mm. But it's, 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 it's wonderful. I love it. I get to work with different people. I'm building teams. I've always been a leader, natural leader. Love the community always, but... Now I'm just controlling my day. I just love wow. it. Wow. So, you know, it's funny. Like, like when you're going through stuff with life, mm -hmm. the job can be almost like, it's all, it almost sounds like you left a bad relationship. Like, <clears throat> you ever have a relationship where, you know, where the person, you can tolerate them, right. but then you go through something mm -hmm. and they're up your ass, like, while you're going, like, like you're like, look, my mama just died. Like, right. stop it. And then, so you're like, okay, I'm going to go deal with my mama. Then I'm going to go dump this. SOB. You know, I've seen people yeah. go through that. It's almost like the job was kind of like that nagging yeah. person in a relationship. Like, come to work, come to work, come to work. You're like, wait, I'm dealing with life. Right. You know? So so it's, it's almost like the, like the part that was like a low point in your life mm -hmm. became a high point it because did. that was the catalyst that called you to battle that led you to seek right. out your freedom. Is that right? Accurate? Yeah. And then also, you got to understand, like, I know you get used to like the nine to five and the paycheck and the security, but sometimes you get under a lot of stress. And when that stress releases, it's like the whole world opens up. Wow. You know, yep. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. Mm. Wow. And it works out because God has never let me fail this whole time. Mm. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have not had to go back to work. I had times where I thought, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to go back. Get out <laughs> and it did not happen, though. It was like you literally the next week. Okay, this business just came down. They need management. They need this uh, business plan. They need this. It always works out. And I'm like, okay. Money, stop doubting yourself. You got this. And People. you know it. You found that that, that time where was there a time where you just kind of knew like that, like I'm not going back. Like I'm like, like this is my life. Yeah, because your your ment mentality changes, mm. and you just realize that I cannot go back and just work a nine to five anymore. Not to say there's anything wrong with people who do work nine to fives. I hate that stigma on workers or jobs. But if you are truly an entrepreneur, which I never knew it was an opportunity to be an entrepreneur business owner. So that's why I'm so passionate about it until I was like 30. Mm. So when I moved to Georgia, I'm originally from Indiana and I moved to Georgia. That's when I learned about entrepreneurship. Had no clue, but I always had an entrepreneur mind. Mm. But I should have learned that in my teens and 20s. So I'm so passionate about using my voice to spread about business ownership, entrepreneurship, to know that that's a possibility. No, everybody can't be a CEO. Everybody can't be an entrepreneur. But the people who can be, they need to know that they can do it and that they should be doing it, right? Mm. And then with us, we got to make sure that multiple streams of income is a priority today. I don't mm. care who you are and what type of businesses you run or whatever. You got to have that. So I just learned that piece. 
just being there. And then like that mentality of I can't go back to work. I'm like, there is no way I can go into nine to five. I was talking to my boo the other day and we were talking about things and we were like, I was, I was like, I'm gonna go back to work. He was like, man, you can't work no job. <laughs> We about to go on vacation. <laughs> go ahead and get you a week off. You're not going back to nobody's job. <laughs> Oh my God! I, I love this. I love this, and and I I, I pulled out my my camera to because I heard you, I was hearing your story, and I said, Oh my God, this is inspiring. And I was thinking about how you left your job on your birthday, and you're working with us, but you're doing a lot of other things that are that are really moving you along. And I'm super proud of you. And uh, and so you came all the way from Augusta, Georgia, yes. for for the All Black National Convention. Yes. What made you come out to the convention? What 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 is it that inspired you? First of all, you? just to gain knowledge. You know, to meet new business owners, get opportunity. I'm always thinking about okay who can I connect with to bring resources to my area right if it's you whoever's in the building that I can bring to Augusta under the chamber and like host an event right because my mind's always thinking okay what's the next thing what's to what's to get here what's to do but then also to learn from other business owners because it's so crucial as a business owner entrepreneur you constantly learn that you're open to opportunities yes I host on intellectual chocolate and I'm also the president of the chamber but sometimes I feel like we get to a certain thing we think we're not supposed to humble ourselves when we get a title you should always want to learn. That's the only way I can stay effective for my team, for the people that come up under me, for the people that's looking at me, for the people who want me to mentor them. I'm like, okay, I got to constantly always learn. So I always try to be a leader somewhere, but also be a follower under a leader. Mm. And so I want to take the opportunity to do that because that keeps me learning, right? To always grow. And then I get, I get correction from the team, Michelle, Shauna. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do that. I can work on this. You know, but that helps me to get better when I go speak wherever mm, I like when that. somebody's paying me so, so, so like everything I always put that learning in play with you doing something that you love I love hosting I love spreading business owners I love spreading about the community so this was like simple I'm like okay I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna get to do what I love oh my god <laughs> so Ronique where, where can people follow you like online okay. you can follow me at Ronique M. West on Instagram of course, how, how do you spell that? R O N I C. R O N I C. Yes, okay. M is in Mary, and then West as okay. the direction. And that's all on Instagram. Yes, on okay. Instagram. All right, yep. so everybody go follow Ronique M West uh, on Insta yep. on Instagram. And then follow the chamber at my GABC. We named it M was really Greater Augusta Black Chamber of Commerce, but it's my GABC because this is your chamber. We are building this for the community. So when I leave, that's going to exist. It's not for me. This is your chamber. So I want you to type in my GABC because you want to really feel that. And then my business is R3 Unlimited. So if you're trying to structure your business, you ensure what to do. I focus on the organization of your business, not the branding. I can help you with that. Not the marketing, really the organization, because we want our business owners to get to mm -hmm. mid-market corporate world. Mm -hmm. And that organization structure is what is missing. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much. And it was great talking to you at the uh, 2018 All Black National Convention in Philadelphia. Allblacknationalconvention.com if you want to meet more interesting people like this. And I'm so thank you. Should you should be here. Yes. Next year, get here. Yes. It's going to be. There Fly, you go. I flew, and I go to Jamaica Monday. So that's how important it was to be here. All right. <laughs> thank you, Ronnie. Oh, my God.